Hey Blackman, and welcome back to our part two interview with Blackman's football coach, uh, Chandra Tigard. So continuing where we left off, we already talked about the week six matchup against Antioch and how it's military appreci appreciation night and senior night. I just want to discuss about you uh, putting your first steps in the door at Blackman and how that you have brought many changes for the football program. Your personality is also a complete 180 from what the players are accustomed to from our last coach. Uh, do you feel like you have formed chemistry with these players in the community and have adapted to the uh, run for county system? I think so for sure. So uh, I got hired in January, started in February. We immediately started doing our 6.30 a.m. blaze drills out on the turf. Uh, it was about 30 degrees with a bunch of sleet and hail. and Freezing. Uh, yeah, freezing cold. You were out there. Yeah. Um, so we started with that stuff. We did all kinds of uh, hard work over the summer. We ran Tiger Hill for the first yes. time ever. All of us, even, even me and you, got up that hill. So <laughs> yes. Yeah, and I, I've got a great bond with the kids. I uh, love being here. love the team. love the school. Uh, couldn't be a better fit for me, honestly. And It's the first year, and there's so many changes and 14 new coaches and all these new players. But uh, So so far it's going really well and I think we're set up for the future. Yeah, so you already seem used to the Rutherford County area, so like during the weekends, what do you do with your free time <laughs> in the borough? Honestly, um, I don't do much other than hang out with my wife and kids. I've got two little boys, uh, Barrett and Camp, uh, five years old or, and uh, one and a half. And mm -hmm. so uh, we go, we do brunch every si Saturday or Sunday. So we're a big Maple Street Biscuit Company. I just hang out with the family on the weekends and mm -hmm. uh, when I do get some free time, because during the season, obviously, we're swamped. Do you ever uh, eat at Donut Country? That's my favorite place to go to. Yeah, and Donut Country was a sponsor for one of our, uh, you know, for our stadium cleanup day. So you got to shout out Donut Country for that. Yes. Um, Coach, would you like to add anything to a part two interview? That's pretty good, Garrison. It's like behind the scenes, huh? Getting to know the coach. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, we're going to get to know you soon here, too. <laughs> all right. Thanks for stopping by and giving us an update on the team. Um, and that's all we have for today. We'll see you at the Inferno at 7 o'clock. Go Blaze.